I have silver horses, do you? Silver is a rare dilution in the AQHA, and we're going to dive a little deeper into the history of it with Ryan Fleetwood of Fleetwood Farms. Hey guys, Joel Libert here. I just did a clinic. I haven't figured out how to put on my clinics without losing my voice, but we have Ryan Fleetwood here of Fleetwood Farms Quarter Horses, and he is gonna help us learn a little bit about what a silver horse is. Silver dilution is a fairly rare dilution in the AQHA, and uh, it uh, obviously has come down through time past uh, all the way through each generation. It doesn't ever skip, although it only affects black pigment. So you only see it on horses that have black mane and tail and black legs. This is looking at a Riata and she's a silver bay. She doesn't have a lot of mane and tail, but you can see the dilution in her mane here where it changes from black basically to the silver color. And as I said earlier, the silver dilution only affects black pigments, so it also changes the look of the legs. They're not as dark a black as they would normally be. There's a tail shot for you. And so she's a fairly low expression of silver. This filly is a silver buckskin. So she carries both the silver dilution and cream dilution, and that's why she's so light. And she was born so light colored, I thought she was Palomino. I actually registered her as Palomino. And then the dark started to show through on her legs. And you can see with her, both dilutions have made her legs really kind of brown versus being black. So the cream dilution, because so many buckskins show the light colored mane, the cream colored like this, it would be very hard to tell that she was also silver because of, of that cream dilution and that lighter kind of frosting that comes in the mane and the tail. So the silver, again, you really kind of look towards the end of each of the hairs and that's where it lightens up. <laughs> this filly carries silver, dun, and cream dilution. So you can see all of her modifiers uh, as you look at her. So the silver, of course, just changes towards the end of the hair. And then she's a very light color. So that's her cream dilution showing. And then of course the dun factor, you can see the line down her back, which goes right out into the tail and the leg barring on her front legs. Uh, frosting on her ears, all that kind of thing shows the done factor. I don't think there's very many horses in the AQHA that probably carry th these three dilutions. There's not very many that carry silver. Not very many that carry silver at all, that's true. Silver assured and seven other foals were produced via embryo transfer in 2014. Uh, Four of them had silver, four of them did not, and one of the four silver had two copies of it, and that was him. The most of those, most of the silver horses that carry one copy of it, you don't see nearly as much expression of the silver as you do in Silver Assured, and uh, that's pretty typical in the stock horse breeds that carry silver. How did how did you come across silver horses like? I, I'd never even heard of them before you. There was a lady who actually sent some horses here to be boarded uh, some years back, almost 10 years ago. And she had the silver horses and that's how I became introduced to them. And right away, as soon as they got here, there was a colt that I really loved. And I bought him straight off and his name is Silver Lincoln. The silver dilution has been in the AQHA, obviously, since, the, since its inception. And in the old days, in the 40s, horses had to be approved to come into the AQHA. 
And so as far as we know, there were two families of horses that had the silver dilution that got registered in the AQHA. And this family coming off of the Bar U Ranch, which is now a National Historic Site in Alberta, uh, was one of them. And that's the Bar U Champ Binder family. And so he was, uh, I believe he was the first one tested. And that was done by the Vosslers in northern BC. And that he tested for silver. So now that they can genetically test for it, of course, it's easier to know which horses carry it and which do not. And we basically know the colors now and how it shows up. I, I know there's not very many silver stallions in the AQHA. It's actually a fairly rare color in our breed, but other breeds, the Rocky Mountain Horse and a lot of the Minis, they have lots and lots of silvers. Now it's kind of neat because the, these horses originated from stock that came off of the Bayou Ranch. And the Bayou Ranch apparently in the old days ranged all the way out to this country where our ranch is now. And so I think it's kind of interesting to think that the ancestors of some of these horses that are here in these pastures now could have run in the very same places where these horses are. Yeah, I've only ever seen one black silver, uh, pictures of black silvers. I think they have more in Australia than we have in North America. In our breed, because there's so much agouti that runs through the quarter horse, and you have to have no agouti and the silver to get to black, so. But certainly silver can come in or on any horse at all. This is Silver Assured. He is one of only two registered AQHA stallions in the world who carries two copies of silver. He also carries two copies of black and two agouti. So in the absence of any modifier from the mare, he will always sire Silver Bay. Not very many people know about the silver dilution. Please share this video if you enjoyed learning a little bit more about equine color genetics. And go and check out Sterling's page at rjlhorsetraining.com. Thanks guys, see you on the trail.